don't comment on this wig it's super synthetic yes but if it was good enough for beyonce in 2001 i think it's good enough for me in 2021 hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naninga koe thank you so much for joining me today i hope i haven't busted your ears with that hi guys and clearly my t-shirt is saying hello everybody but anyway that aside Uh, today I'm going to talk about five makeup types. Yes, on this channel we're always talking about makeup, makeup, makeup. Even if we are not makeup gurus, we love makeup. So on this channel, if you love makeup, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I talk about everything makeup, everything fashion, everything fun, everything lifestyle, whatever that means. <laughs> but anyway, jokes aside, today we are going to talk about five types of makeup that you should definitely have in your collection regardless of whether you're a beginner or you want to get a, to venture into makeup or you want to declutter your life and you just want to remain with five so with that being said let's just get into the video five types of makeup that you should definitely have in your collection whether you're a beginner or you're a professional decluttering your number one and definitely the one that you should never, ever, ever, ever miss. Like this one, do not miss. If you can get rid of all of them, remain with this one. That is eyebrow makeup or basically eyebrow waxes, eyebrow pencils, eyebrow powder or something that a spoolie, something that is supposed to draw your brows or highlight them or basically just make them appear more presentable. If that is the case, if it's in this era, definitely our work is to comb them out for those of us who have eyebrows. And the ones who do not have eyebrows is to draw them in or fill them in with an eyebrow wax or an eyebrow pencil or uh, an eyebrow powder. So definitely you should have something in your eyebrows. As you, As you know, know in whenever uh, they depict science fiction characters, all characters that are supposed to be alien or strange or foreign never have eyebrows. So if you do not want to fall into that category, make sure that you have something to do with your eyebrows. That is the number one thing that you should never have failed to have in your makeup collection. Something to, you know, to clean your eyebrows and to make your eyebrows look presentable. Okay, the next thing that I, I definitely feel that should be in your makeup collection is foundation. And that goes without say. And uh, preferably a full coverage foundation. And what do I mean by a full coverage foundation? A foundation that actually um just as the name implies full coverage it is opaque or basically it does not allow um patches to show up on your skin or discolorations to show up on your skin or veins or something of the sort and the reason i say a full coverage foundation is because a full coverage foundation is going to save you a lot of money in terms of color correctors you won't have to purchase color correctors because it's going to basically cover up that um, uneven skin tone so a full coverage foundation is something that you should definitely have in your makeup or even if it, you have good skin already and you don't need um, a full coverage foundation you can always opt for a medium coverage or is there a light coverage i'm not sure about that a medium coverage foundation yes just you know a good foundation should always be in your makeup and the reason for this is because the skin is something that um you know people perceive as bad skin equals bad health and you know bad lifestyle and you know not being presentable so good skin equals good lifestyle good health and being presentable so it's like your health shows on your skin so a good foundation definitely makes you look more youthful more um presentable yeah so make sure that you have a good foundation the third thing that i definitely feel that should always be in your makeup collection is a neutral eyeshadow palette now the reason i specifically say a neutral eyeshadow palette neutrals means browns white black you know neutral shades you know dark browns light browns such colors those are neutral shades the, re the reason for this is actually because a neutral palette makes you look more youthful and you can wear it at any time and somebody will not tell that you're putting on makeup. So you should never lack a neutral palette because um, 
it can be worn at any time yeah daytime nighttime anytime so that is something that should always be in your collection now grooming our hairs on our face is really important and a good mascara in my opinion is something that should never lack in your makeup you it's not a must that you have false lashes but i feel like a good mascara makes you look more youthful unless you're already a youth then it just accentuates your youthfulness but a good mascara will make you look more youthful than false lashes false lashes also tend to aid somebody depending on how old you are so make sure that you invest in a good mascara and also yeah that grooms your your eyelashes and it's not all the time that people have the time to put on false lashes so when you're on the go don't just let your your eyes be like your eyelashes just you know remain rough and all make sure that you put on a good um mascara so make sure that you purchase a good mascara if that is one of the items you need or are thinking of sorry that i don't know what i'm saying at this point i think i'm sleepy sorry guys but a good mascara is definitely something that you should consider when you want to purchase makeup if you're a beginner or if you are a professional and you want just to retain a few makeup items it's definitely something that you should uh, okay we are almost finishing and we've mentioned mascara we have mentioned uh, eyebrows we've mentioned foundation we've mentioned uh, neutral eyeshadow last but not least i feel that you should always have a lipstick in your collection i know some people are going to say but you've just mentioned all the makeup products no those are not all the makeup products. that's not even half the makeup products that exist in this world yeah there's so many makeup products but i feel like a good lipstick whether you're the kind of person who doesn't want to look like you have makeup on there are definitely shades that look like your natural lips and uh lipstick always makes somebody look like they know what they're doing in life you know yeah so make sure that you invest in a good lipstick that should definitely be in your collection with that being said i basically feel that those are the five makeup types that should definitely be in your makeup collection yeah those are the five types of makeup that should be in your makeup collection as i said whether you're a beginner getting into makeup or a professional who wants to declutter their life definitely professionals already know that but if you're a beginner who wants to get into makeup, those are the five things I feel that you should purchase instead of wasting money on very many things, color correctors, what, what, what. And I'm going to do a whole video on five makeup products that you should not necessarily waste your money on, especially if you're an African, you should not waste your money on those makeup products. But with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you've subscribed. Mm? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for you to subscribe. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, that came out weird and creepy. But thank you so much, people, for watching. And I'll see you in my next video, which I post three times a week. Ciao.